Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is February 25, 2021. This is Dale Woodson, one of Timer Digest top ranked stock market timers and uh wanted to uh show you guys our uh, a lot of stuff to show you guys. There's our uh our 3 year um short term trading service. You can see we average over 700 trades a year. We moved our futures trades to striker and uh i've been in uh business with what's a way of reports since 1997 you can see our subscription rates there for monthly reports or daily reports okay um yeah somebody commented hit the hit the uh like button before we we look at the video so a reminder to hit the subscribe the uh reminder bell and of course the like button it's in there let's see i got another um video on that I believe here let's see let's make that big and hit play there's the subscribe and reminder bell and the like share and comment buttons okay enough of that um, let's see what else we have to cover here today okay stop there we go all right there's our old website there's our new website there's striker which will Auto trade signals if you want to uh, um, trade futures accounts on my signals. Okay, let's do that. What else do we want to show you guys today? Uh, big day today. Okay, for those of, of you who uh, chose the bearish count, we can't uh, do high fives or cartwheels just yet. We don't have confirmation. For those of you who picked a bearish count, uh, again, we don't have confirmation, so it's not over. Here's an hourly chart. Here's the most recent five-wave rise from the January 29th low. Okay, let's get our um, Fibonacci retracements on there. And you can see that the market has retraced right near the 50%. Okay, so this is the... Uh, leading diagonal down this could be one or a this could be two or b and this could be three or c okay so let's see uh where our extensions are for that and for the first wave down a or one second wave up again that 786 retracement that we talked about and we can put that on there that they do that that was meant to scare the bears out okay um they flush all the bulls out with this. They flush the bears out with this, and then they take it down. Um, here's our targets here, where one or C equals, I'm sorry, where three or C equals one or A. And here's our 1.618 target, and lo and behold, it's right on a double bottom. No coincidences, no surprises there. So we're looking for this to go at least to here or to here, even if it's a correction. Okay, we'll get into where that is more than a correction. But um, uh, with a little bit bigger chart, maybe I have it right here. Let me look here. No, nope, that's not it. That's it. Okay, so here is the uh, October 30th low. There's wave one up. You can see I still have the the bearish count in, in black numbers and the bullish count in red numbers. There's one up, two down, either three, four, and five, or three up here and four and five. Again, three is shorter than one, but in the bull case, five is shorter than three. So three is okay as long as it's not the shortest and it's not the shortest. Again, here's that A, B, C or one, two, three. There's where it gains equality. There's where it's a one, six, one, eight, okay? When we take out this high, the November 9th wave one high, and this, I remember this from back then. It's just one hundredth of a point short of 36.46. It's actually 36.45.99. That'll be confirmation that the bear market or the top is in and the bear market down has begun. We need to take out that high. And we'll be close when we get a third wave here or a C wave. Okay. So um, that's what we're looking at. A, B, C or one, two, three. Within that, I think I have this here. Yeah, um, this is that second wave high there. Let me draw that back. You can see we've got, uh, this is a five minute chart. I trade on five and one minute charts. I really like to scalp. It works good. Uh, we have a one down, a two up, a three down, a four up, and a five. Um, 
this could be too this could go higher tomorrow because this is just the retracement levels of this last fifth wave let me move those out and uh, you can see here's the retracement levels two could go here to uh, 3857 it could make a 50 percent retracement grab it here we go up here at uh, 3781 or 3884 I'm gonna leave it in between there so we gotta allow for that near term but I think this this third or C wave will develop tomorrow we're looking at minutes here okay and you can see that uh, that beginning diagonal triangle oh someone note, uh, noted that it didn't look like this last fifth wave uh, actually happened uh, where do I have it here yeah this one two three four five there's there's three and four right there that big red bar if you will so if we look at a little cleaner that's not it we look at it a little cleaner there's that bar there you can see a one two three four five there's where the overlap is the ending diagonal triangle I can uh, label that for you guys that's where I said uh, I believe it was yesterday that it would be fitting that the bull market would end or the move up would end with an ending diagonal and then begin with a beginning diagonal triangle so um, there we go there's our waves you can see the overlap ending diagonal triangle and then we have notice we had uh, a, a gap down and then a move up a gap down then a move up a gap down then a move up a gap down then a move up and then today we gapped down and just went down. Let's see, is this today? That's the 22nd. Yeah, anyway. Um, there's, let's see, what else do we want to show you guys here real quick? Um, there was our trading record. We did that. Oh, again, the uh, review on the Fibonacci time spiral. Without reviewing all of the alternating highs and lows that this spiral caught with a little bit of slippage, just know that the last three dates have caught the wave one high the wave three high and so far the wave five high on february 16. okay so uh that's worth noting um could be um let's see i think we had a another wave count here okay there is our 145 points down and here's the scared of bears out of the market 123 points up to the 786 retracement level Okay, we got that. We covered that yesterday. And here is here is a summary of uh, of the market on an hourly bar. That was the wave three high on 126 turn date. Three days later, the low. Here we have the one, two, three, four ending diagonal. Then we've got one or A down, two or B up. Then uh, we got uh, three gains of quality just below the 618 retracement. You can see 3 equals 1 or C equals A at 37.84. And that's within a point of a double bottom over there with a 1.618. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else? A quick update here. Uh, we did that. Oh, uh, hope he doesn't mind the uh, the glory. But uh, one, of the, um, one of the subscribers to the channel asked if this could be an expanded flat. And yes, it can. This would be A down, this would be B up, and C down would be below here. It would be an A, B, C, where B terminates above the beginning of A, okay, and C, you don't see it here, would go below the low of A. This would be A here, so it would be an A, B, C. Maybe I can draw that out on our, uh, let's see if I can get it here. Which one are we on? That, not there, not there. Here it would be here. Um, it would be like this. And that's a possibility that uh, you don't look for expanded flats. Um, they're easier to spot in retrospect, but it's a possibility. That would be an A. That would be a B. And C would obviously be probably well, right there. No, It would have to be down here let me get the measurement let me take this one out of the way let's remove that okay and let's get the uh, extension for that expanded flat which is a possibility there's a there is B 
and C gains equality at 3657 for the expanded flat scenario. I'll leave that up there. It doesn't look like 1.618, but yeah, it is. So that would be an A, B, C down to here. Okay, let me make sure I covered everything on the S&P. I promise I'll get to those other stocks as soon as I can. Let me just do a quick review here. We've got that. We showed you guys that. We showed you guys that. That too. Okay, that was the big one. That there. Let's get back to the charts just to make sure. Okay, and there's the... Uh, the current wave and the uh, retracements up and this is the big one here this is the uh, hourly chart that's what we're looking for 3783 or 3695 which would be the double bottom if you would and that in itself could be a flat so we need to take out that November 9th high to make the bearish count for confirmation of the bearish count of course, a move above the 39.50 high takes that out. It means a bullish count, but then we're only looking at 46 more points up to our ideal target of 36.96. Okay, I think we've covered it all. And again, thank you guys. We appreciate it. Until next time, take care, everyone.